Hi Leah, welcome to your weekly tarot, general tarot reading with me. My name is Brooke. This reading is for all those born under the sign of Leo for the week of March 7th to March 14th. Please watch for your sun, your rising, as well as your moon sign in this reading as well. Leo, I'm using a different deck this week that I bought. If you can see this, it's the Tarot Illuminati, which is a really rich, colorful tarot deck that I'm beginning to use and I just love it. I'm also burning protection incense in the reading this week as well. And Leo, I'm going to pull three cards for this week's reading as well as a fourth card that will be the last card of the bottom of the tarot deck that I've shuffled for you as validation and resolution in the end of the reading. Also, I want to state that um, these are general readings. If you like a more private reading, you can check out my website at the link below and see the readings that I do offer. They're 30-minute sessions, live on Skype, telephone, or privatized video uploaded to YouTube for your eyes only. And there is a solar eclipse new moon in Pisces occurring on Tuesday, March 8th, which will be very powerful in terms of effects on many of us. This also could be endings as well as new beginnings and it's something that astrologers are stating that's going to be one of the many powerful astrological things that are happening in the month of March. So Leah, let's get started. The first card I've pulled is the Prince of Wands, which is very comparable to the Knight in the traditional Tarot deck. The Devil has appeared. Ending with the wheel, which is essentially the wheel of fortune. So interesting, the Prince of Wands in the beginning part of the week for Leo, very much in terms of adventure. Gemini got this card as well in the same position. So if you have Gemini rising or Gemini moon, go back and watch that video. The Prince of Wands is seeking a sense or is wanting to cultivate adventure this week. Breaking from the status quo. This also could be much driven creative energy for many of those that are watching. You may also find that you're wanting to satiate some form of appetite or satisfaction uh, away from the ordinary things, ordinary daily activities. Very much a driven energy which could be, be very much on the precipice of the solar eclipse energy. The Prince of Wands could also indicate travel for many. This also could indicate thinking about relocating or change of residence for many of those that are watching as well. The Prince of Wands has a lot of passion behind his motivation. There could be a lust or some form of feeling that you have to satiate for you, Leo, whatever it is that you're craving this week in terms of adventure, in terms of creativity, and then also in terms of movement. So this is a dynamic card, which is very much about direction, driven energy, and a sense of adventure, especially in the beginning part of the week for Leo. Now, coupled with this, we see the devil. The devil is a card in terms of excess uh very much likened to, for Leo this week, feeling that you just want to satiate your appetites in terms of cravings. This could be even also associated with feeling very addicted to something, whether this is actual physical addictions, emotional addictions, this could be addictions in relationships, patterns of potential emotional addictions in relationships. This could even be attributed to emotional or potential verbal or potential physical abuse in relationships at times. This is a card of lust and desire. This is a card of excess and temptation for Leo this week. So many of you, because this is a general reading, the sense of adventure and wanting to fulfill something, especially in the middle part of the week, you may feel like just kind of 
kind of going off the rails so you got to watch yourselves in the middle part of the week of trying to maintain balance this week and not giving in too much to temptation and the excess because these energies may very well be uh, attributed to many of those that are watching especially in the middle part of the week what's interesting though in the last card the wheel which is very much attributed to the wheel of fortune the wheel is stating that something is coming up and something is coming down. There's a, a sort of cycle that is emerging or that is changing, possibly following this new moon, which new moons are all about new beginnings, and also following this solar eclipse, which is supposed to be very powerful in terms of change. Leo may find themselves at the latter part of this week really getting some form of change of cycle in your lives this could be attributed to fate or destiny this also could be the ups and downs of a situation this could even be attributed to uncertainty or emotional uncertainty or confusion for many or possible serendipitous moments etc so the wheel of fortune is very much stating change is in the air uh, the winds of change for Leo may very much be afoot, especially in the latter part of the week, which is very interesting next to the devil card. So the bottom of the deck, we see the hanged man for Leo. So interesting to see the hanged man in the bottom of the deck for Leo. The hanged man is very much about uncertainties or indecisive attributes or indecisive elements to a particular situation there may be much confusion or you may actually feel hung up in the air about a particular situation this week leo where you're not getting all the answers or you're not forming uh, enough information to actually give a final answer or to make a final decision because once again with the wheel of fortune something may come in especially the latter part of the week that may change this for you where you still may not be able to make a final decision or feel like fate or destiny is it's being left up to something bigger than ourselves so possibly fate or destiny may step in for leo especially at the latter part of the week to change things up a bit so perhaps leo may not be able to make a final decision the sense of wanting to get out and about and a sense of adventure to break out of the normal routine is very much notable. Also be aware of excess or temptation this week and try not to overdo it for yourselves. Leo. So Leo, I hope you enjoyed your reading. Have a great week and I'll speak to you soon.